In this vid video we are going to show how to install WebSelect on IIS. IIS is an abbreviation for Internet Information Services. Open IIS Manager from Server Manager Dashboard or from Run. When opening IIS Manager from Server Manager Dashboard, you can find it in Tools. here and we can open it from the run menu there WebSelect is an ISAPI application. ISAPI is a programming interface used by IIS. Apache, that is also a very common web server, uh, it has uh, a mod called mod ISAPI and using that mod it also can run ISAPI applications. Features are normally turned off for security reasons. If you're going to use them, you need to turn them on. So first step here is to enable ISAPI on IIS. En enabling ISAPI is done by selecting this node here. Uh, and then we select the handler mappings icon. Here we find an ISAPI DLL. Right clicking this and we find edit feature permissions. In this dialog we need to check the execute and press OK. Now we have enabled ISAPI applications on IIS. Running web select communication goes through this DLL. It's called GDWeb Zero ISAPI. IIS needs permission to execute this, so we need to set it up. The DLL is found in the folder where we placed web select. There. And uh, now we go to IS Manager and uh, set the rules. Here we have an icon called ISAP and CGI restrictions. And we go to this command called add. Uh, we select here the DLL. We can type some description here, it could be anything. This checkbox is important, we need to check it. Allow extension path to execute. And now it is allowed to be executed. Creating application pools for web applications is useful for settings, security and management. 
Applications in one pool is isolated from other pools. If crashing, they will not take down the IIS. Open IIS Manager to create one pool. In IIS Manager, we add the application pool. Uh, this is done by activating the application pools node. Uh, here you can find an add application pool command. This will open the dialog where we can add it. We call it test. Uh, web select doesn't have any dependencies so we don't need any .NET and press OK. Now it has been created. Uh, we get the default application pool identity. This is uh, a built-in identity with a high security. Web select here is a 32-bit app. So we need to set the application pool to 32-bit. Press that, right click, advanced settings. And here we have enable 32-bit application. Set that to th true. And press OK. Create a folder where web select will be will be placed. Here we have C, the C drive, a folder called web, and we will place it here in the web select. Extract files from the zip file here. Web select is now placed in web the web select folder we created. And adding web application in IIS manager is done by selecting the node where the application is placed. Here we are going to place a web select. We select it and then we choose add application. In this dialog, we set the physical path. It is the path to the place on the disk where the web application is placed. Alias is a name that IIS is using to reroute uh, requests to the physical path. And application pool. First we select the physical path. And then the alias. And lastly the application pool. Press OK. And there we have it. Running web select files with the extension SRF should be sent to the GD Web Zero ISAPI DLL. We need to associate SRF files with this DLL. Select the application node and select handler mappings. In this view there are some commands in the right corner and the command we are going to use now is add script map. Here we type the extension Select uh, this 
the web zero i sapping and we can call it any name uh, it should be enough for scripting but uh, you can check the execute also it asks to uh, allow this ISAP extension but we have already done that so but we can press yes here and there we have it now IIS knows where to send the SRF files last step installing web select is to configure the startup process we need to set the database and the script for that database learning web select how to work on the database and default choir set file when web select starts it tries to read a file called system xml or system xml c now we are going to prepare this system xml in the folder settings original we can find some useful files and here one file is called system min xml copy this file to the root there rename system in xml to system xml edit it we use notepad plus plus here there are three elements that are important the database connection the dbc connection script file script file is used for learning the web select how to work on the database and default query file set in this example we are going to use a script file that queries uh, the system table in sql server it you can use that to check what tables etc that ex exists in the database installing web select uh, this these files are found here as sql server and we have we have a query and sql here are the These two files can be found uh, in the web select folder where web select is select located. Uh, here is the web select folder where we, we extracted the files. There is a folder called queries and one below that called SQL server. Here we have a query set file it contains queries and this is the file uh, the other file is found below scripts system tables there and now I'm going to type the 
database and then try to connect. Now we try to type the URL to the web select. It worked. Here we have opened the result view. It also has a small dashboard. Can And that was a sample on how to install WebSelect on iOS.